everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany Bundles, and today I'm gonna to be doing a video on what's in my Michael Kors bag. I've been carrying this bag for about a year, so I'm really excited to show you guys what I carry in it. Um, before we get into the video, please make sure that you give this video a big thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel so that I can know that you guys like my content. I plan to upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So with that being said, this is the bag that I've been carrying. heavy because I have a lot of stuff in it but this is the bag that I've been carrying for about a year um, I did look on the website and try to find this exact style but I couldn't find it so I'm just gonna leave the link below so if you guys want to browse their website um, then feel free to do so but yeah this is what it looks like and um, the only thing that I can say about Michael Kors is I like to wear it as my everyday bag because it's very affordable um, and for me I don't know like I don't really like to wear my more expensive bags on a day-to-day -day basis just because I feel like if something happens to this bag it's easier to replace than if something happens to one of the more expensive bags that I have um, so this is what I wear on a day-to-day -day basis I have kids and I'm really bad about leaving my like not leaving it but like setting my purse on the floor so um, and I don't I'm not the kind of person that just likes to set my purse on the table I don't know for some reason I feel like it could be taken as you're being rude if you just you know go to dinner and just plop your purse on the um, table especially if it's a big purse I do know they have those little purse hooks but I just feel like that's a little extra for <laughs> I just feel like if I walked into a restaurant and I propped up my little purse hook people will be looking like you're a little extra but I don't know um, <laughs> let me stop rambling but this is the purse that I carry on a day-to-day -day basis because it is sturdy. I've been wearing it for about a year on and off, and um, it's very affordable. The only thing that I can say about Michael Kors that I don't like are the straps. The straps do come unraveled pretty quickly, um, and that's not just on this bag, but that's been on all of the Michael Kors bags that I've had. Um, not all. There's one that hasn't, and I'll probably show you guys that in another video. But, um, yeah, this one, I, I mean, I, I just don't like the straps unraveling. But other than that... It's pretty nice um, so the first thing that I have this is what it looks like right now it's pretty packed um I am a mom so there's a lot of stuff in here but the first thing that I have are pull-ups um, speaking of being a mom I have a three-year-old and he is going through potty training so I always keep these on me just in case um, and then the next thing that I carry is this makeup uh, bag this is um i got this bag from alta i think they were doing like a sale where you get um this bag with so many purchases or something like that but pretty much i got this for free because of the things that i was buying that day and i cannot remember which sale or what i was buying but this is what it looks like it's just a whole bunch of stuff randomly thrown in here um some of the things that i do carry in here are my needle and thread it may sound crazy but it really comes in handy um, there's nothing worse than being out run, ripping and running and then one of your tracks come loose if you don't wear tracks if you don't wear hair extensions then you probably don't know what I'm talking about but um, I do wear hair extensions quite often so it just messes up my whole day like if I know a track is loose you might not be able to see it and you might know not know but it's just gonna mess up my mind like it's, it's I'm not gonna be able to just have a smooth calm day knowing that I have a track loose in the back so if that happens, I can just go to the bathroom or I can go somewhere else and fix my track really quickly. My needle and thread. I have a pair of scissors in here as well. Um, and I do keep this like edge brush as well because I mean, sometimes you do need to do your edges depending on where you're going. You might think you're just running to the store, but then hey, you might want to take a pit stop and go out to dinner with your friends or go out to dinner with your boyfriend or your husband or, you know, you never know. And it's like, okay, I thought I was just running to Myers or Walmart, but because we're not, let me go ahead and fix my edges. So those are some things <laughs> that I carry. Um, I didn't really go over the makeup because I really don't wear makeup like that as far as like concealer and stuff. Oh, I mean, I have some concealer, like I just got this recently. This is the Fenty Beauty Concealer. Um... Sorry, I'm congested. But I really don't, I don't really like it that much. Like it doesn't really look good after it dries on my skin. 
Um, some other concealer that I use is Mary Kay. I like that a little bit better than the Fenty, but I don't know. I don't really get into foundation like that. The most that you'll see me wear is maybe some lashes, um, eyeshadow, um, eyeliner, and lipstick. Um, that's about... It's about it it's about it um but there are times that i might want to do a little bit more and if i do i have it right there so the next thing that i have in my purse is um some gel and this is just the eco styler gel it's like max hold 10 and that goes right along with my hair um <laughs> so i just want to make sure that my hair looks decent if i go out so those are those are some things that i carry um and then the next thing that i have is this lotion um, it's from Bath and Body Works. It's called Coconut Mint Drop. It smells really good. Um, in my opinion, it really kind of doesn't matter what kind of lotion you can get from Bath and Body Works. A lot. I mean, most of the scents that I've gotten smell good. So I don't even pay attention to what the scent. I mean, I guess I do sometimes, but most of the time I just look at the package. If I like the package, I just grab it. Um, <laughs> and the next thing that I'm going to pull out is my beats uh earphones i always carry these with me i love the fact that these earphones come with um a case it just makes it so much easier to carry around but yeah i carry these um i don't know if i'm in the car and someone's listening to music that i don't feel like hearing or if they're having a conversation that i really don't want to be a part of then i'll just you know politely put on my my headphones and go about my business or if i'm cleaning up the house or if i'm out um I don't know if I'm out, if, I, if I feel like putting on the earphones, they're there. Uh, speaking of earphones, I also carry these earphones as well. Um, I haven't really opened these because I really don't use them. These are good. They came with my um, iPhone X, but um, because I have the Beats, I just never really had a need for them. But I don't know. It's good to have in case someone else wants to listen to music and they ask you for headphones and you don't want to give them your Beats. Or I don't know, you, you may want to have... Um, like a smaller more concealable um earphone in besides the beats and if you do then these are in handy these come in, in hand. hand not handy i'm sorry <laughs> these come in hand um and then the next thing that i have is my ipad or yeah ipad this one is mine um, but because i have kids they always want to play on them so i have them one as well uh their case actually is lost somewhere i don't know where they lost it at but yeah this is theirs this is mine um and then i also carry a notebook around because as i mean i know ipads are really convenient like you can definitely put um jot down any notes or anything that you want to in an ipad but i still feel like pencil and paper is the quickest way to kind of jot something down if i'm thinking of it and i don't want to lose it so i have a um, notebook and a pen as well the next thing that's in my purse are my glasses yes i wear glasses um i don't like to wear glasses just because hmm, i don't like the way that they look on me and i don't like the way that they feel and i don't like to always have to clean them like right now i'm trying to clean them the best that i can but yeah i don't really like them but these are my glasses <laughs> um nothing really special but if i really can't see or if i really need to you know read something then i have them in here so other than that i really don't wear them i mean i should i don't want my eyesight to get worse but you know i might look into getting contacts or something i'm just scared to put them in with my nails um and then i also carry a pad um you never know i mean we're women there might be someone out out in um public or there might be someone i don't know that, that needs the pad or you may need the pad so just in case you i think every woman should always carry a pad a tampon something just in case um and i've been doing that since i was like in middle school so yeah carry pad um i also carry my charger and that's just for the obvious reasons i use my phone a lot my phone can go dead and i want to make sure that i'm i'm always connected so i keep my phone charger with me um i actually didn't know this was in my purse but this is some more thread that i keep with me <laughs> uh and this probably shouldn't even be in here it probably should be like somewhere else but yeah this is in my purse too um and then i have my wallet it's like a matching wallet um i don't know the style of this either but it should be on the michael kors website and then i keep my business cards with me uh 
to my hair extension business, which is badshakehair.com, and the link will be listed below as well. So I hope this video wasn't too long. I tried to kind of breathe, breeze past it, but that's everything in my purse um, or in my bag for right now. If you guys have any other ideas or suggestions on what videos you'd like to see me do, then please leave them below. Um, but as always, thanks so much for watching, guys, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.